And we now move to a little bit of a personal battle. Tony Kirksey, Max Meese, and Max Meese is one of the best 18-year-olds in the state of Ohio. Jake Digman, we call on you to bring out our first fighter. The following contest is in the RFO Bantamweight Division, and it is brought to you by ShootItMMA.com. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle into the blue corner, please welcome Tony Kirksey. John, Tony Kirksey comes in with a record of three and one, and it's always important to understand who you're fighting. That one loss is to Devin Mazik, who's now pro and has a record of six and one or seven and one, and he lost by decision. Tony Kirksey from Sandusky, Ohio, is an extremely solid fighter coming out of Adrenaline MMA, Adrenaline Academy, rather. Yeah, and one of the things that impresses me about him, he's won by triangle choke, he's won by uh, TKO uh, due to referee stoppage, he's won by decision, he's won in every shape and form. The guy knows how, how to, you know what, get the win. You know, that we you talk about it in the NFL, just get the W. So if you score 44 points, if it's on special teams, if it's defensive turnovers, whatever, who cares? He gets the W. John, we had a chance to talk to Kirksey's coach, Chad Catchery, a guy who's been around the, the game for a long time, and he believes that Kirksey's better than all of Max Meese's previous opponents. He also believes that Max Meese, even though we mentioned Mazik, Max Meese is the best opponent that Kirksey's faced. So we're going to find out where these two fighters are at this young in their career. This is another great piece of matchmaking by Scott Corbin. And John, when after he gets the cage, when both fighters are there, I'm going to give you a little story. There was a little bad blood at the weigh-in. Uh, a little confrontation, shall I say, and that's created some bad blood in this fight. Kirksey has something to prove, but maybe more importantly, he thinks Max Meese has to prove something to him. We'll get back to it. And his opponent making his way down the aisle into the red corner. Please welcome Max the Spider Meese. There's a determined Max Meese from Team Chaos and Evolve MMA hitting the cage. This is a shooting star in MMA. John, take a look at this tail of the tape. Well, we got a, quite a big difference in age. 27 to 18 years old. Height is about the same, 5'10 to 5'9. Records are about the same. But the real difference, the real difference, at, at least what I see, Maximis, all three of his f previous fights have been right here at RFO and all three have been ended by submission in round one. This young man has grown up before our eyes here in the RFO. His father, who right now is greasing him up, is, is a uh, mixed martial arts instructor. He has taught, look at his arm. He's got boxers tattooed on his arm. Max Meese grew up as a fighter. He then stepped up and is under the tutelage of John Cook at Evolve MMA. And Evolve is exactly the perfect description of Max Meese. This young man has unlimited potential, has faced older fighters, experienced fighters, every step of the way, and he does it again here with Tony Kirksey. Jake Digman, official introductions. The following contest is in the RFO Bantamweight Division, and it is brought to you by ShootItMMA.com. Introducing first in the blue corner, he fights out of Sandusky, Ohio. He weighed in at 135 and one half pounds, representing Adrenaline Academy. He has an MMA record, three wins, one loss. Please welcome Tony the Instigator Kirksey. His opponent in the red corner, he fights out of New Philadelphia, Ohio. He weighed in at 135 and one half pounds. Representing Evolve MMA and Mies Martial Arts, he has an MMA record, three wins, zero losses. Please welcome Max the Spider Mies. 
This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And when the action begins, your referee is Mr. Ty Wheeler. John Max Meese, only 18 years old, may look like a choir boy, but he's anything but when he gets in the cage. Nicknamed the Spider, and when you get in his web on the ground, you're in trouble. Before the fight this morning at weigh-ins, Kirksey came in overweight. And before the fight, Kirksey said, Max Meese is a little girl. He's going to have to prove me otherwise. And Kirksey right away opening up on the feet. Yeah, yep. there's no question. John Cook, um, everybody in Northeast Ohio knows who he is. You know, leader of Evolve MMA. Just cannot give enough praise to Max Meese. And we're going to see what he has tonight. Outside leg kick by Meese. Both these fighters, you know, when they're in the cage and Jake Digman was introducing them, Max Meese pointed across at Tony Kirksey and said some words that won't repeat. But they're in the cage, and now all the talking is done, and they get to prove it with their fists, their hands, their knees, their submissions, their leg kicks, and we're seeing it right now. Two fighters amped up and going at each other, and Kirksey not backing down from the prospect Max Meese. Right, and 27 versus 18 years old. Whoo! Spinning back kick from Meese. Meese southpaw, good body shot by Kirksey. Neither fighter backing up. Now, and both are standing traditional. And John Cook right now from Evolve MMA is saying hands up, hands up. But look how light Max Meese. Max Meese in the black trunks, Kirksey in the green. But look, at, look how light on the feet. And that's that traditional martial arts background that he learned from his father at such an early age and then went to uh, the full gamut. And one thing Marshall I noticed works. from Max Meese, he keeps switching styles. There's a big takedown from Meese, but Kirksey looking to transition. But prior to this takedown, uh, Meese was switching stances. He was going southpaw to traditional. And Kirksey inverts and locks up the head of Meese with the legs. John, the, inverted the, triangle. The, uh, this is very difficult to finish. I would be shocked if he finishes it. Well, Max it, Meese is stepping over with that knee. Yeah, he's he's stepping over. He's going to he's going to get out of this. Right now it's nothing but a headlock. Action packed first 2 minutes Max Meese takes the mount. Can he do it for the fourth time in a row with the first round submission? He's looking to land the strikes and he oh, gets and through with the right. Good. And he's looking for an arm bar right now. Look at him controlling the head. And, and one of the things that you should not do is throw a punch up because, yeah, there it is, and you're going to get an arm bar. There's and there a tap. Is, and there's and watch the tap. Max Meese. Yep, you do not want to throw your arm. Oh! Well, there's a push from Kirksey after and, the bell. And, 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 shame on him. I'm sorry, but that is not what mixed martial arts are about. You got caught. You got an arm bar. Done deal. End of discussion. And, John, there's his dad, Mr. Meese. Talking to his 18-year-old son, telling him, pay no mind, you're walking away with an unblemished record. And, and I, 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 I is not taking the same tap. And he caught him, he tapped. I think what he may have but what he may have had a uh, problem with is the way is the way Max Smith walked Max uh, walked over him. That's the only thing I could think of. He walked over him. He kind of slapped him on the back of the head. Here's the deal. That young man's 4-0, and he's saying it 4-0, and, and I want the title. All right, John, look, we're going to take a look at it. Yeah, okay. He gets him in the arm bar. There's no question. There's a tap. It's but over. Now let's look close. Okay, did he smack him on the back of the head? I think it was incidental. I... Next, nice. Uh, yeah, I. Um, we're I, I mean, Ryan. I I don't even know what to to think. It's just, did he taunt him? I don't know. But the bottom line is, you tapped out. Uh, chew your cabbage and walk hey, away. Hey, hey, hey. You guys are the two best friends around. In Matt, in, you know, look, we talked about, look at the arm bend. Max Meese, if he gets you in the hold, it's over with. This young man 
with unlimited potential is starting to realize it. Another impressive finish. And, and Max Mies is in the cage right now looking at us pointing and saying, this is my cage. And John, uh, I'm not going to disagree with him. Yeah, and he's right now, he's he's kind of doing the Michael Jordan. Hey, what am I supposed to do? There's Chukovic. There's Max Mies. And we are four fights deep in the Spiders' career. And I'm telling you, John, the, the, uh, I said before the fight, there's unlimited potential with this guy. But the mindset is not that of an 18-year-old. He's so much more mature. His fighting age so far surpasses his age on this earth. All right, well, we're going to uh, get Jake Digman to uh, let us know officially what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ty Wheeler calls a stop to the action at 2 minutes and 42 seconds, declaring your winner by armbar submission, Max the Spider Mies! I'm here with your winner, Max the Spider Mies. This young man's only 18 years old. He just graduated over the summer. That moves you to 4-0, man. What's plans for you? Uh, plans for me is going to come back in here. I'm going to walk out 5-0. But the only difference is this time when I walk out, I'm going to have a strap around my waist. Anybody who wants to, you know, contest that, go and step in here. I'll take your belt. It's just what's going to happen. Uh, I want to give a thank, out, thank you to all the fans who came out to support me. I want to give a thank you to all my coaches over here. My dad helped me so much with the weight cut. Went easy. I loved it. Cook helped me with the weight cut, too. It was perfect. I want to give a... A special thanks to someone who's not here right now because she's going to be here. But I love you. I want for you. Uh, yeah, other than that, next time I step in, I'm going to walk out with the belt. You fought for us on several occasions. I can't see why uh, you didn't deserve a title shot. You're a jiu-jitsu competitor, and you like the ground game, but you love to strike, too. That's dynamic in a fighter. What do you guys say to all these fans that came out here, man? This is a great crowd, right? Yeah, this is a great crowd. You guys are awesome. This is what makes this happen. Without you guys... There wouldn't be any of this. I love stepping in here and putting a show on for you guys. That's all this is. He didn't mean anything. You know, it was just a show. If you guys are entertained, I'm doing my job. Let's hear it for your winner, Max the Spider Meese. Well said.